Hey, let's get active. I'm Coach Pearl. Thank you for tuning in to Teach Phys Ed. This activity is a shooting game, and it is called Magic Number. So here's how you're going to play. You're going to need a deck of cards, and we pulled out and only are using numbers 2 through 10. So we have a whole stack that we're using. Uh, basketball or some kind of ball for the students to use for shooting. We're doing this for kindergarten right now and our first graders, but you could do this all the way up to whatever grade level you want and adapt it for yourself. Poly spots, we're scattered out around the basketball hoop so it gives the kids a location to shoot the ball from. So here's how they play. Our students partner up. You don't need to partner them um, up, depends on your class size and your equipment. So they'll partner up. What they will do is they will come out to the uh, game and they will stand on one of the spots to try to shoot a basket. Now, if they shoot the ball and they hit the backboard, they get one card. They'll come to us with their ball. They'll get one card from the teacher, take the card and the ball back to their partner if they have one. They give the partner the ball. If they don't have a partner, they just simply get to take another turn. They come back out. Now, now let's, say, let's see if I can make the basket this time. If they make the basket, they get two cards. Even though I hit the backboard, if I swish it, or backboard it in, doesn't matter. I get two cards, so I'm gonna to go to the coach, teacher, two cards, get the cards, go back, and switch out again if I need to. Now let's say they shoot and hit nothing. Well, sorry, they get nothing. So they simply get their ball and take it back to their partner. When the game is over and we're out of cards, what we use is an app, uh, and I will put it in the video description. You can use an app, and it automatically will find, it's the, I think I believe it's called the randomizer, or. Uh, undecided, sorry, undecided is the name of the app. It's free and it will pull up the number, whatever it is, and then that's what we say. Okay, we're looking for the team that has the most four. So the kids count, find out which ones they have that have number four. That determines our winner. We collect cards and play again. Or you can just pick a number off the top of your head looking for number six who has the most sixes. And then that would be your winner. So it's up to you on how you would like to do the point system or not do the point system. You can even have them count how many cards that they collected any way you want it. But like I said, this one's called uh, Magic Numbers. I'm Coach Perillo reminding you to keep on moving.